What's up, everybody? Just wanted to show you guys what's going on with the mama rats. Um, they started having babies right around the 13th of December. And that's these ones. They're about 23 days old, I think, right now. These ones are considered to be smalls, I believe. Smalls are like right around 52 grams. Yeah, she's right around 52, or he is right around 52. Uh, sorry about that. This one, 46. So that one's still on the larger weaned size, um, almost a small. I just weaned the mother out of this bin right here, and she got to go back into the regular colony. Um, they've been eating food. I've been throwing little, tossed little pieces in there for them, and they've been nibbling on them, and as well as I've seen that they've been eating from above, as you can see right now. Um, my water nipples are pretty similar to the rest of any breeders. Um, they come up from underneath, and as soon as they touch it, the water comes out. It's very easy for them to get to. Uh, make sure the bedding is deep enough. And like I said, they just come up and it comes right on out. And then it's connected to a line that goes all the way up and goes over to this bucket. I gotta fill this bucket up like every two days. And that one feeds that rack and this rack the same exact way. Just run the lines. As long as all the lines are underneath the bucket, it'll feed naturally by gravity. And each line goes to there. I like using a smaller system like that, especially indoors, because if something happens to the water nipples, they can get corrosion in there, or um, other things can happen. They can build the bedding up to where the bedding pushes the nipple, and it'll allow the bucket to drain into one tub. And ho hopefully it wouldn't happen like right now, but give it about a day, and they drink about a gallon out of that three gallon jug. So it'd only be about two gallons that would probably get in there, unless I noticed it right away, I can stop it. but. Um, that is one of the common problems that happens is that the tubs do flood out. Um, back in Wisconsin when I had my other setup going, I had a regulator that was hooked up to the water supply. So if anything like that happened, my whole tub could fill up with water and it could like splash out the sides and create a mess on the floor, flood the other tubs. There was a big headaches a lot. Um, but yeah, so we started on the 13th and then these ones were born neck note these top ones were born next and these ones we have them to be fuzzies all the way up to there's some pups back here as well and they're doing pretty good growing pretty fast and then we had three more litters 9 11 and 11 and i got the three moms all together in this one some of them are almost fuzzy size. Some of them are still large pinkies. Just got done cleaning everything today. Patched up these bins right here. My buddy Johnny warned me that I should get these front. Um, on, on the front, you put washers right here where that hole is. So that way they don't chew it out. And my dumbass didn't do it right away. So we had to patch up. They chewed it out just a little bit and I had to patch it. But I just used a piece of tin. Um, throw some rivets in there, it connects from both sides, and it makes it pretty strong. Here we got some more little babies. All together in total, I think we got 64 or 70 babies from the 13th until the, the last ones that were laid were on the 3rd of January. So yeah, them are my racks. Um, I plan on making the operation a whole lot bigger. We're gonna build a shed out in the backyard, a 16 by 12 foot rack, or shed, and I'm gonna try to fit 24 racks in there. Um, if the ceiling's height allows it, I'm gonna try to build my racks a little bit closer so I can fit 10, 10 tubs tall. Um, should be able to get, like I said, 24 racks inside of there, so that's 240 tubs three females per tub for I'd, I'd use about 16 of the racks like 160 tubs three females one male and then use the other six racks for uh growing out the the babies once they are big enough to be weaned from the mothers sorry about the length of the video guys i'm gonna throw this on youtube and then i'll throw it on to uh facebook 
Thanks for watching. Any questions, hit me up, let me know. Peace.